Today, you'll learn how to blink an LED with an ESP32 in under 5 minutes, starting with the free Wokwi simulator and then trying it on real hardware. You can follow along without any components using Wokwi or grab an ESP32 development kit, an LED, a 220 ohm resistor, a breadboard, three jumper wires and a USB cable if you want to build it physically. First, let's set it up in Wokwi. Go to wokwi.com and click Start a new project, then choose ESP32. Click the plus button to add an LED and a 220 ohm resistor. Wire the LED's A node, which is the longer leg, to GPIO14 on the ESP32. Connect the cathode, or shorter leg, to one side of the resistor, and then connect the other side of the resistor to GND. Once your wiring is complete, replace the default code in the editor with the following. This code is a simple program to make an LED connected to an ESP32 that will blink on and off every second. It begins by defining LED pin as GPIO14, which is the pin where the LED's anode is connected, while the cathode is connected to ground through a resistor. In the setup function, the code sets LED pin as an output, so the ESP32 can control it. The loop function then repeatedly turns the LED on by setting the pin to high, waits one second using delay, 1000, turns the LED off by setting the pin to low, and waits another second. This sequence runs indefinitely, creating a blinking effect at a one second interval. Before running the simulation, make sure to change the default resistor value from 1 kilo ohm to 220 ohm to properly limit the current flow and protect the LED. When you click the Run Simulation button, the LED will blink on and off every one second according to the delay value set in the code. The resistor can be placed on either the anode side or the cathode side of the LED, and the circuit will function the same in both cases. In both arrangements, the resistor's job is to limit the current flowing through the LED. As long as the resistor is in series with the LED somewhere in the circuit, it will perform its function effectively regardless of which side it's on. In conclusion, this project has shown how simple it is to make an LED blink at one second intervals using the ESP32, whether you are working in the Wokwi simulator or with real hardware on your desk. We covered how to wire the components and run the simulation to see the LED turn on and off in a steady rhythm. This exercise is a great introduction to digital output control, timing functions, and the basic structure of Arduino-style programming on the ESP32. Once you've mastered this, you can easily modify the code to adjust the blink speed, create custom patterns, or even control multiple LEDs for more complex projects. Completing this tutorial is an important first step in understanding how microcontrollers interact with electronic components and it opens the door to more advanced IoT and embedded systems projects. Thank you for following along, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll take your ESP32 skills to the next level.